We could make camp here. It must have been some time since the renegade Templars faced a maid of any talent.
after the wolf Helena spoke of. could be the lair of our strange wolves. Is it? You may want to look into this. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. There shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you.
You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a mad one, a fool. And they may be right. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. You've said you believe you're chosen. Does that mean you believe in the Maker? I believe he exists. That's comforting. Surely the Maker put us both on this path for a reason. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. Kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Commander! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Fandraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? Don't ask me. I'm as baffled as you are. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me. Working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come. To work, then. We will speak later.
Popov downed on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the reports. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. It will be done. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Trust me. Everything I do is to protect our interests. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends, and on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. You have a history with the Warden who entered the Blight, don't you? She's always in my thoughts. Even when we're far apart, my love is on a quest of her own. When the Inquisition has no further need of me, I will join her, for good this time. I have lost enough. I will not lose her as well. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. How many families are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves? Yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstart eager to turn over every apple cart. Don't let anyone riot while we're gone. The walls will be standing when you return, I hope. These truths the Maker has revealed to me. A path carried on will have more pulses for the in. The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life to slow the magic of the bridge. Sir Trevelyan, may I present the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durelion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Interesting, considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No, no. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat... Hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. 
His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. My scouts are posted on the ridges, in case there's any trouble. All right. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. what we have. Thank you for coming. Maybe you can solve this mess. Our missing patrols are being held hostage by Avar, barbarians from the mountains. What are they doing in a bog? That's the thing. Their leader, he wants them to fight you, because you're the Herald of Andraste. Should I autograph something for him before he tries to behead me? 
They think readings for the weak, you know, scholars, lowlanders, or legion peasants. Getting to our troops won't be easy. You'll have to fight your way through undead. Wait, you're not squeamish about undead, are you? They're not on the list of my favorite monsters. You'll want to stay out of the water, then. The Avar are holed up in the castle on the other side of the Fallow Mire. Make her willing, the Inquisition's people are still alive. further in. Some sort. What are those ruins? Never seen their like before. That's not normal fire. I have heard of this, but never seen it before. It is called veiled fire. It is a form of sympathetic magic, a memory of flame that burns in the world the veil is thin. dry land. Keep an eye out for more then.
We could make camp here. This back. What is it? See for yourself, sir. No sign of the Avar who want to challenge me. Or the Inquisition soldiers. I hope the Avar haven't gotten bored with the hostages and that they understand how hostages work. Look, signs of a plague. It must have been a terrible illness. No one's come to reclaim the land. No one living at any rate. These people never had a chance.
spy with my little eye. No. Oh, come now, Seeker. I'm just trying to be friendly. Try to be quiet instead. When you brought me along to talk, perish the thought. back to the shore. The fewer of these creatures, the better.
God looks after you, Harold. There lies the brat. His father, chief of our holding, would duel me for the loss if he cared enough. The Inquisition has a purpose your chief likes. Join me. Help us stop the breach. Is this what the Lady of the Skies let me hear? To help heal the wounds in her skin? Aye, I'll join you. Let me make peace with my kid and I'll find where you set your flag.